Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get them out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet, okay? Let's go.
restricted access. <laughs> Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. Well, you're not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Put on the brakes, Swig. Jesus Christ, man. You know who you got in here? Just fucking slow down. Personal space. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot? Me 20 bucks. <laughs> what a 
wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art, a simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've, I've been a mixed bag, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. <sighs> okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Oh, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. There's a part of me, Doc, and I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon.
What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Point seven millimeters. Who the fuck does this hey, shit How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it.
As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. How you do it, T? We gotta hang in there. Sometime. They want to have driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Frank's at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. Am I gaining on them or is that my imagination? We're coming back for you, my You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely uh, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Go on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing, fucking car? All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey man, you know how hard it was to drive slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Yes? Mmm, mm, I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Oh, keep talking. Mm, I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Whoa, don't hang up. I... Uh, I think I love you. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S., so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. Here comes the overtake!
What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? <laughs> you know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? Right? <laughs> My car is fine. Gee, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, just kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
stay spiritual. I hope he believes in an afterlife. God, that is fucked no! up! No! Oh. your guts for garters. Oh, he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbyes. Oh, shit! What are you doing? you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please, no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please, let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. Ow! Oh, see? You can act! Don't listen to all those movie critics! <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Screwloose back there. No, no, no. I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. I'm drunk, but shit, I ain't getting drunker.
Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. I think I saw you in a magazine once. If you've got a pen, I... You seen these delts, bro? I'll rip you apart! Appreciate this shit.
AL is done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development of Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> Alright, homie. I'll be in touch. That must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Hey, baby. What can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> I don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like, shh. But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? I'll just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. We'll cut Poppy's react. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. 
I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got him. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Just business shit, you know how it is. Light, good to go.
fucked up. Never mind. Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I, uh, I didn't forget I was busy. Yeah, busy, that's it. <laughs> Fight the power. This motherfucker. Smoking? Yeah, in his fucking bedroom. Repeat, 
We have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We're looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay home and look out. Roger that. Uh, 
Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. You know what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! My baby! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Attention, all units. We've got a 'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left oh there she is <laughs> you know if this beauty was a woman I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Oh, uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh, man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. 
Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. Everything hurts. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. He's... The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle it with God. All right! Hey, and let's stay in touch on the headsets.
Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. There it is. I'll pass downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Hydraulic systems. 
No elevator control. Very little aileron control. Serious doubts to make your landing strip. Need to ditch. Roger, November 9 and Charlie Echo. If you lost your manual flight control system, pull your flat. Run! You better be working! Okay, this guy's going down any minute. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor Phillips country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. Losing altitude rapidly. I'm gonna have to bring it down in dirt. God help us. Roger, November 9 and Charlie X. What is your status? God help us. But seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Call the cops. I'm working. Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. 
Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tell don't. Him. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can... Hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Chop! Get inside, Chop! Take yourself home, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 